East Jackson. Superintendent Pat Little here with more information about East Jackson Elementary. The good news is we're on track. We're working hard out here to get your kids some new opportunities for their education. The good news is for East Jackson kids is that we are on schedule and at budget. Our focus is still on your safety and the new opportunities for learning at East Jackson Elementary. One of our goals in today's video is to give you an update like we did in the last video. We think it's really important for you not only to know about the progress at East Jackson Elementary, we want you to see it as well. We're currently standing in the parent pickup area at East Jackson Elementary. We're trying to make it easy for parents to get in and out of the school and to get their kids and to take them home. Another convenience for parents will be the transportation hub, which will be at Memorial Elementary. Our East Jackson buses will pick up students at Memorial every morning at the gazebo at a designated time in the fall. We will take them to East Jackson Elementary so parents don't have to make the trip out. After school, it will be the same setup. Parents will be there at a designated time to get their kids off the bus at the transportation hub at Memorial Elementary. So join me as we take a quick tour around East Jackson Elementary. we're in the East Jackson Elementary lunchroom. This will be a great place for kids. You can see we've added colorful lighting and it will be a fun place to not only get a nutritious breakfast or lunch, but kids will enjoy spending time together before or after recess in this space. One of the things I want to let you know about is that at Memorial Elementary we will be running GSRP programming. That's four-year-old preschool for kids next fall. We will also be providing before and after school care starting in September for the first day of school. Again, see our website if you want more information about before or after school programming. Right now we're in a typical classroom in East Jackson Elementary. You can see it has the same great colors and lighting that the cafeteria and the library have. But you can also see that it has ceiling fans, which will keep kids cool and comfortable during the warm learning days. After school gets out, the smart boards from our current elementaries will get moved over and this whole building will be rich with technology. Wireless technology, audio systems, audio enhancement systems for teachers voices so it's easy to hear the instruction for all kids in the room. Community members will have several opportunities to see this new building. August 13th and 14th from 6 to 8 p.m. there'll be a community walkthrough. Kindergarten Young 5 Roundup will happen August 19th. Kindergarten Young 5's orientation will be September 1st. Open house for the entire district will be September 2nd. And the first day of school will be September 8th. You can find those dates and more information about next school year on our Facebook page for East Jackson Community Schools. We'll also be mailing out the Trojan Press over the summer, which will include all the information you will need. This is the library. It's renovated. It's one of the new spaces here at East Jackson Elementary. It will have exciting furniture, soft furniture, so it's comfortable for your students to read, but it'll also have all the research material for our older students available, our nonfiction collection. What we're doing is combining the two collections into one great space. As you can see behind me, we've added a lot of color to this room. It's large, it can handle two classrooms, and we're excited about it as a comfortable learning space for your students. Right now we're outside at East Jackson Elementary, behind the school. The fun place where the playground and the kids will be able to play, get out and get exercise. Behind me is the basketball courts that we're refinishing so that kids can use them during the day, but the community can use them at night. See, this is a space where not only is it for student learning, but it's for community use. The ball diamonds with baseball and softball are gonna be renovated. We've got upper L playgrounds, lower L playgrounds, and very popular with the kids, the Gaga Ball Pit. We have a community walking path. We just have a lot of opportunities for kids to be active, get fresh air, get exercise, and then go back into the school for learning. Thanks for joining us today for this tour of East Jackson Elementary. We'll have another update this summer as we wrap up construction out here on Walls Road. I want to thank the Board of Education and the voters for having the vision to make this building a great learning environment for all of our East Jackson students. Thanks for joining us.